Jazakallah for that performance, you guys. Very well done. Uh, for our next class, it will have to be Sister Salma. So Sister Salma's class would please come up here. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum everyone, my name is Sister Salma. I had the pleasure of working with all of my students. There were a couple more, but they're not here today. So today they're going to present to you some of the things that they learned um, during their time at the Islamic school. So obviously it's not everything they learned, but just a little snippet. Um, you love giving them choice. So we're going to start with Yomna. This year I learned all about Salat. We pray five times a day. Tell me more, tell me more. You can pray your house or masjid. Fajr, Duhur, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. Salat is the second pillar of Islam. My name's Amaria. I, I live in Bloomfield. I go to weekend Islamic school. This year I learned all about sh Shahada. We say it to become Muslim. Tell me more, tell me more. Shahada means there's no one to worship but Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Say my name is Azaria. I live in Newburg. I go to weekend Islamic school. This year I learned all about the cat. I do it to help the poor. Tell me more, tell me more. The cat is about helping the poor. So you could go to Jannah and they could go to Jannah. The cat is one of the fourth pillars of Islam. My name is Hakim. I live in Belleville. I go to weekend Islam school. This year I learned all about Allah. Allah has 99 names. Tell me more, tell me more. Allah is our man, our king, and now I can do a salam at moment. My name is Aiden. I live in Bloomfield. This year, I go to weekend Islamic school. This year, I learned all about Hajj. It's a pilgrimage to Mecca. Tell me more. Tell me more. Hajj is one of the pillar of Islam. During Hajj, we go to Mecca. We follow the footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi My name's Amir, I live in New York. I go to weekend Islamic school. This year I learned all about dua. We make dua to Allah. More, tell me more. We say Rabbi Zidni Elma at school. We say Bismillahi Tawakkatu and Allah Hila Halawa Kwata in the villa when we leave the house. We say Masha Allah. All right, it's a beer. <laughs> MashaAllah, well done, Sister Salma's class. You guys did amazing. That was very hard for me. Um, that being said, following Sister Salma's class, we would actually like to call up Sister Zainab and Sister Shinazia's class. So if you would all come up here, thank you very much.
MashaAllah, brothers. Job well done. Job very well done. I know that must have taken months to learn. But that being said, um, our very next class for the last presentation will be Sister Wahina's class. So if you would all like to come up. So 
Allahi wa barakatuhu. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman r-Rahim. Malik yom al-din. Iyak na budu wa iyak na stain. Idin sirat al-mustaqim. Gaidon Magdubi Alayhum Waladalim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Kula Uzu Bi Rabbil Falak Min Shari Makalak Min Shari Khasiti Zawatak Min Shari Nafasati Thilukad Min Shari Hasdi Iza Hasad Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, Kulauz be Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas, Min Shari Waswas Al Khanas, Al Wazi Waswi Sufi Shudur Nas, Min Al Jannati Wan Nas. Sadaq Allah Al Azim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. These are the months in Islam. Muharram Safa, Rabia Awa, Rabia Sani, these are the mouths in Islam. Jamad al Ukra, Rajab and Shaban. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan and Shawal. Dul Qa'da and Dul Ijab. These are the mouths in Islam. Muharram Safa, Rabia Awa, Rabia Sani, these are the mouths in Islam. Jamad al Ula, Jamad al Ukra, Rajab and Shaban. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan and Shaban. Dul Qa'da and Dul Ijja. These are the mobs in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Sakbir. Thank you very much for that. It's always good to have a constant reminder of when the month will um, And that will conclude our weekend of summer school closing ceremony for all of you. Congratulations to a year well done. You've all worked very hard and we expect that you keep working just as hard for your deans and for yourself. Um, up next, however, we'd like to have our souvenir ceremony for all of our graduates of 2022 and this will be presented to you by our sister Hannah who also helps teach with me. Assalamualaikum. Okay so we're gonna start by handing out some of the gifts we have for our graduates starting with the kindergarten class. So can we have Zara up first? Can we have Sama Peters and Lila Peters? They are not here. Okay. Can we have Athea Williams? Uh, Fariba Kazi? Aliyah Ali? Ali Ali? Aziza? Muhammad, Idris, 
Ramaisa and Kadir. This is our kindergarten graduating class, so it's like beer to them. Allahu <laughs> Okay, moving on to elementary school graduates. Anas Amin, Uthman, Aiza, Hania, Abu Bakr and Adam Muhammad. Ibrahim Zakaria, Khalif Smith, Michaela Ali, oh. Teray Limpton, Hassania Garba, Saifullah Muhammad, Faiza Odorago, and those are all our middle schoolers. Next is the 
Deva Sahid, graduating from Rutgers with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Oh. And Brittany will take her gift on her back. Oh. Or Lulu. Oh. And finally, we have Afia Nasir, graduating from Keene University with a Bachelor's in Early Childhood Education. Oh. <laughs> so clear for our college graduates. Graduating from Rutgers with a doctorate in nursing as a family nurse practitioner. Oh, doctor, Allah Akbar. PhD, very good. MashaAllah. Thank you, Mr. Brother. MashaAllah, doctorate. Next, we have Samba Jafi graduating from Tufts University with a doctorate of occupational therapy. And our final doctorate is Fatima Jafi graduating from Seton Hall Law with her Juris Doctorate. And her dad also topless with Dr. Sadat. Dr. Sadat, the Amor, my son, the Jodal Amtar, and the Stelim Law. The gift. The card. MashaAllah. The bear. Okay, so that fortunately concludes our graduation ceremony for all, both our weekend assignment schools and our college graduates. It's been a very tough year for everyone, I understand, so we really appreciate the fact that everyone's trying so hard to represent themselves and their families just as well. So congratulations to everyone. Oh, actually, change of plans, Fatima Jafik stepped in the building. Congratulations! And so with that, we would just like to call up our esteemed Amir for the Anai Imagine, Brother Ashraf Latif, to give a few closing words to wrap up this program. So Brother Ashraf, and then Sheikh Dawood as well for some closing dua. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brother MC. Amazing job. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil musulim. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdu la sharika la wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Alhamdulillah we thank Allah SWT for all his blessings, all the blessings that he's bestowed upon us and our parents, our families and to our community. And we thank Allah SWT for indeed a blessings is indeed a gift from Allah SWT. And we thank Allah SWT for having made us Muslims. For indeed, if Allah had not made us, uh, um, had not blessed us with Islam, what would have we been today? So Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for that. Big congratulations to the teachers and the administration of the Weekend Islamic School of NIA. Takbir! <laughs> Alhamdulillah, it's an amazing job and I know they did so well. It's not easy being a teacher. Being a teacher is a very important role, a very cherished, and you know, our community is indeed very blessed for all the brothers and sisters who teach in our masjid, whether it's in the weekend Islamic school, or it's classes, or Imam Uda's tafsir, or other brothers and sisters who teach other classes. We thank Allah SWT for the blessings of teachers. So all the teachers in the house, take beer. Whether you teach at weekend Islamic school, or teach in the public school or public school, teachers are very blessed. So, Alhamdulillah. Big tag beer for our parents. Take beer. It's not easy being a parent, right? But Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have children. Children is a gift from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And as parents, we are we thankful. We are to we thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for the blessings of children. 
No, there are so many challenges. It's not easy being a parent. Uh, there are parents with husband and wife. There are single parent. Those only parent we know about. Husband and wife and single parent. And uh, so it's not easy. There are so many challenges we have. We know especially uh, during these years, it's not easy being a parent. The challenge of you know of work and managing our kids and the academic school also. You know, in the weekend exam in school, balancing Islamic education with academic education. So I thank all the brothers and sisters, all the parents for making sure, taking the steps to make sure that your children come out on Saturdays and receive some amount of Islamic education. As you know, we cannot always only put the task of teaching our kids Islam to our teachers at the weekend Islamic school where your kids only come here for about three or four hours a week. So it's very important that we as parents make sure that we follow up after the weekend Islamic school and make sure we add to that and to further you know, the enforce whatever they're doing and reinforce whatever they're learning and add to it inshallah to make sure. And if you ever need any assistance inshallah, please make sure we have an amazing team at the weekend. Islamic school led by Sister Sumaya and the rest of the team. So give the team a big hand, please. <laughs> and alhamdulillah to our children. Takbir. We have some amazing youths, the, the ones from the pretty kindergarten age, and I've seen so many of all, all our graduates here today. They all, many of them we see just grow up through the weekend Islamic school, grow up as little kids in our community. And you know, one of the main goals of the Weekend Islamic School is to inculcate that for them to be proud to be a Muslim, for them to be happy that they are Muslim, and for them to love being a Muslim. The education, inshallah, will count. Some of it from Weekend Islamic School, some of it you will teach them, some of it they will learn and they will develop. But that love for Islam is so important. And so as parents, as teachers and administrators, our goal is to make sure to give our kids the confidence and to let them know that it's amazing to be a Muslim, that they should be happy, they should be proud to be a Muslim, and they should look forward to being a Muslim, and they should love practicing Islam. And that love and commitment should be in their heart. And as parents, inshallah, we should try to make sure we always put them in a position where they look good being a Muslim, where they enjoy being a Muslim. So inshallah, it's very important. So again, you know, the, the children is very challenging, but it's, you know, as, as we see the curriculum in school, is so challenging with all of these, you know, backward ideas on Islamic principles, all the things that are happening, it's important as parents that we give the right information at home, that we tell them what a family is, we tell them what Islam is, we tell them what is morality, what is immorality, we tell them what is right and we teach them what is wrong. And we also, as parents, you know, there's one thing we learn that sometimes parents, they may disobey you, but they never fail to imitate you. So whatever you do, your kids will do. Whatever you do, whatever they see you do, they will do it. So as parents, let's make sure. We ask Allah SWT to help us all to be good examples. Uh, so that inshallah, I'll be praying for our kids. We ask Allah SWT to bless our teachers, uh, to bless our parents, and to bless our children. And we thank Allah SWT for the blessings of the community. So once again, on behalf of the NIA Majid, we'd like to congratulate all the graduates from the Weekend Islamic School. I would also like to congratulate all our college graduates. It's an amazing feat. We're so proud of our youngsters from our community that they not only excel in the area of Islam, and they're also amazing volunteers. There's so many amazing volunteers in our community that they've done so much, they've grown up seeing what Islamic work is and to see them graduate in the academic field and not only graduate but to excel in higher education we're so proud as a community as you know all our kids in our community we all parents all of them we all you know it takes a community for you know to raise a child and we're all extremely happy to be part of that community and to play that role and it's very important as parents inshallah if you find any challenges any any difficulty please make sure we have an amazing Imam Sheikh Daoud. Give it up for him, Imam Daoud. Any challenges, please make sure you know that we talk to our Sheikh, inshallah. And also, many of us, we have young children. Now is the opportunity for us to impact them. 
Now is the opportunity. Brothers and sisters, do not wait till your child is 17 and 18 years old and then come complain that your child doesn't love Islam or something. Now is the time you need to invest in your child now. So inshallah, there's no guarantee in life, but inshallah, we, don't, we want to have as least regrets as possible. Let us spend the time, spend the effort in our children. They are our future, they are our present, and they are our future. So once again, thank you so much. I know I, you know, I see the chefs uh, barbecuing there, and I know as soon as I wrap up, I'm taking a little too long, but we'll enjoy the barbecue. So once again, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the day. Shukran as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.